hello friends welcome back to crack gate online so today i am going to cover uh, fourth part that is final part of ic engine lecture series uh, this is about myself i am rakesh ranjan i did my amtech from iit kharagpur and my gate rank was 31 in year 2030 so directly i'll jump on the um, topic so today i am going to cover governor so governor is basically a device which is used into any stationary or movable engine to uh, reduce the fluctuation so suppose you are having a generator right now uh, you are using some 10 numbers of tube lights uh, with that generator and suddenly you add another 10 uh, tube light with that so initially power was some suppose x watt and now power requirement is uh, 2x watt so uh, what will happen since uh, rpm of engine is fixed but requirement uh, from the uh, source is increasing so governor will help to increase the throttle of the engine to increase um, the rpm so that it can generate more power so it is basically a compensating device and it works from certain rpm to certain rpm so it will there will be a range between that uh, that governor will work and increase the rpm according to load and further if load is going down its rpm will go down like that so uh, sensitivity of governor can be formulated by n2 n2 is final rpm so suppose its range is 100 rpm to 200 rpm so final rpm is 200 beyond that governor will not work so maximum rpm that a governor is uh, can achieve is n2 and minimum rpm is n1 okay so it it, it is uh, taking it from n1 to n2 so sensitivity of governor will be n2 minus n1 upon n average this n is n average that is n1 plus n2 by 2 so finally it will be 2 into n2 minus n1 upon n1 plus n2 so this is sensitivity of governor uh, many times gate uh, has asked question on this this uh, formula looks very uh, simple but they have asked two three time uh, question on this topic so let's see what type of question they are asking so it is saying the high idle speed of engine is 12 Uh, 2240 rpm and governor regulation is 11.5 percent governor regulation is 11.5 percent okay the peak torque of the uh, of 180 newton meter occur at 1450 engine rpm if lugging ability is 28 newton meter the engine power in kilowatt at governor maximum position okay so governor regulation is basically governor sensitivity so that value is given 11.5% now uh, this uh, they are using term lugging ability so these terms come in engine characteristic curve that is very big topic actually and a lot of concept is involved in engine characteristic curve uh, so if time permit sometime i'll make a video special video on engine characteristic characteristic curve but uh, here i'll um, give a overview of engine characteristic curve so this is engine characteristic curve this is your rpm axis this is your torque axis this is your power line this one sorry that uh, uh, graphs are looking too frugal because i have made it by hand Uh, but please manage with it so this is power curve this is torque curve okay so what will happen see this is no load load rpm okay this is no load rpm and uh, when your engine is just running and there is no load on as soon as you will increase the load since this this is power so as soon as you will increase the load power will go up and at rated rpm this is rated rpm this n2 you will get maximum amount of power so further if will you will increase the load the power will go down like this okay and uh, 
and this is uh, talk up so talk will also uh, take a peak but that value will be lesser than rated rpm so peak talk will come somewhere here if you will draw a line so uh, so you will get uh, a peak talk at uh, lesser rpm than rated rpm okay so now um, and at power uh, and if you will draw a horizontal line from here so this excess talk you are getting right so for maximum power that amount of talk you will get but this extra talk you are getting here this is called lugging ability so what happened suppose you uh, you are getting maximum power and suddenly some amount of uh, load extra load come on the engine in that case what will happen if you don't have lugging ability or extra torque in the engine your engine will stall so for that we provide 15 to 20 percent of extra torque in the engine uh, and that is called reserve torque or uh, lugging ability of the tractor a, a tractor or engine anything so that value is given here you can see in this question uh, uh, that value is given 28 newton meter so if suppose maximum torque is some uh, 100 degree and this value is 10 so operating torque will be 100 minus 10 means 90 newton meter so in this question maximum torque is given uh, peak torque is given 180 newton so peak torque is given 180 newton means this is 180 newton total value and lugging ability is given 28 this so working torque will be this much so 180 minus 28 so you can see here torque working torque will be 180 minus 28 so uh, they are asking what power so power uh, you know the formula power equal to 2 into pi into n rpm into torque okay so torque value you got now you want rpm value so at high ideal uh, engine speed rpm is given 2240 high engine ideal speed means this ideal speed 2240 is n1 value but we don't have n2 value here okay so n2 value we will need to calculate from where from here so governor regulation is given means governor sensitivity is given so sensitivity is n1 uh, at no uh, ideal condition 2240 minus n any arbitrary value which it is getting upon n1 plus m2 by 2 2 will go up so 2 into 2240 minus n upon 2240 plus n so when you will solve this you will get rpm of 1996 rpm so ideal speed was 2240 rpm but due to load that value got reduced and now rpm value is 1996 rpm so on this rpm and on this stock you have to calculate the power value so power value is 2 into pi into n into t 2 into 3.14 into n uh, since you have to keep all the value in si so 1996 upon 62 because it is rpm so you will convert it into rps per second so 1996 upon 60 into torque value is given in newton meter 180 minus 28 so when you will solve it you will get the power value of 31.8 kilowatt so uh, uh, like this they are using this governor regulation or governor sensitivity to calculate the value of final rpm of the engine and ultimately the power of the engine one more question is there on uh, this engine characteristic curve i want to show you at an engine throttle position of 75 percent the high ideal speed of engine is shifted by 200 rpm toward the maximum torque position so see what he is saying uh, and if the engine maintaining a uniform speed of 2475 rpm at given load so uh, in this question no ideal speed of engine was given that is uh, n1 value was given but in this question see what it is saying if engine is maintaining a uniform speed of 2475 rpm at given load this is load value this is load value right 
this was no load value this was load value so 2475 rpm is given for this and 2 is 2475 and what it is saying in first line high idle speed of engine is shifted by 200 rpm toward maximum torque position so there was some ideal value you will increase when you will increase the load the rpm will shift by 200 rpm this side so uh, 200 so this difference is 200 this difference is 200 means n1 minus n2 is 200 and your n2 value is 2475 rpm so how much will be n1 n1 will be uh, 200 plus 2475 that is 2675 rpm so n2 is 2475 and n1 is 2675 so it is asking governor regulation directly governor regulation it is asking you know the formula governor regulation n2 minus n1 upon n1 plus n2 by 2 so uh, n1 minus n2 is how much 200 into 2 upon n1 plus n2 so 2675 plus 2475 so in 200 so you will get 7.77% of governor regulation so c will be the answer for this so you can see uh, uh, with using uh, with combination of governor regulation and engine characteristic curve they used to ask a lot of question so one thing you should keep in mind this is no load condition this is load condition and this is lugging ability extra torque whatever extra torque there and this is peak torque this whole value is peak torque this is lugging ability or torque reserve and this is working torque so these terminology uh, terminologies will be used in engine characteristic uh, characteristic curve and you can solve any question with this so with this uh, i see engine chapter is over Uh, i try to cover uh, most uh, important uh, topic and we tried to solve uh, maximum question which was asked in gate so i think uh, this should be very beneficial for your gate preparation i will request you uh, to repeat if you want to again visit the um, video please go through it and uh, uh, try to solve uh, from your question bank or previous year question paper if you are getting any problem uh, in solving any question you can uh, post it on the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible in next video i'll start a new topic uh, transmission so i'll try to cover most of the transmission part of tractor engine and uh, i hope this video is helping you with your preparation and it is meeting its prime purpose uh, if uh, you are liking this please like it subscribe it and share it with your friend and uh, keep watching thank thank you